arguably, I can provide you with the best retro club tours out of anyone. Or maybe this guy. Hi, guys! So let's dive into my club on FIFA 17 and have a look. Ah. Okay, well, I thought the FIFA 17 servers were up, but apparently they're not. So we'll jump straight onto FIFA 18. So on FIFA 18, I ran a road to glory, which was called Milan Manchester Madrid. I had to try and get every single player from the Manchester teams, the Madrid teams, and the Milan teams. Once I completed it though, I then actually turned this account just into a road to glory to build the very, very best team by the end of the game. And I won't lie, I think that we might have just about succeeded in doing that. We've got prime icons all over the pitch, including R9. We've got Team of the Season Walker and Ronaldo. We've got Team of the Year Ramos, Team of the Year De Gea. And we even have this very cheeky looking 98 rated Neymar. Don't forget about the 98 Pelé and Buffon that are just chilling on the bench as well. Oh my goodness. Look, there's just a 97 Mbappe in my club as well. Who remembers this Florenzi card? What on earth happened to Dali Ali? Look, we've got baby Mbappe in the club as well. Now we're jumping forward onto FIFA 19 next. But I have a little plan of how we're going to get all the way back to FIFA 12 to have a look at my club back then. Even though the servers are deactivated. But that will come later in the video. <laughs> Logs onto the account and sees 7 million coins. And look how many games I played. What's that, about 4,000? Let's boot up our team and have a look. Oh my, look, look at this thing. You can tell the guy who had this account was a no-lifer. The first year that Moments icons were added to the game, we've got Ronaldo, we've got Flippin' Eusebio and Maldini Moments, as well as Tots Neymar and Tots Ronaldo. That is the most disgusting team I've ever had, for sure. And look at this bench. Moments Cruyff, Team of the Season Ebra. That card is ridiculous. And we got Flashback Rooney as well. Now, what I should change for me on this year's FIFA was I brought out the series Team Takedown. Welcome to my brand new squad building series, Team Takedown. So that's why I said that I have some of the most completed clubs in all of FIFA history, just purely because I did like every single SBC on the game. Holy smokes, this, this is a little bit nutty. The first year that Future Stars was ever on the game. We also had the Comable promo, probably one of the worst we've ever seen. I'll tell you what, I absolutely love the foot birthday design that year. The completeness of this FIFA 18 club is nothing compared to what you're going to see over the next couple. There's 12,000 FIFA points just sitting on this FIFA 20 account. I'm going to open a pack just to, you know, why not? Why not? Because we can't get these points back otherwise. Back animation is the tunnel. Oh. Can't get a team of the year, team of the season. Let's not let's not troll ourselves. Oh, who remembers Champions League cards? Let's go! I go on! Mbappé! What the f Why is it like that? The one thing I remember about this game was the summer heat promo. Have a look at this team. I mean, it's not great in terms of chemistry, but the players that are in there are pretty epic. We've got like a 95 Pogba, 94 Bruno Fernandes. No, imagine this card on FIFA right now. A 93 Kimpembe. People would just not bother playing. Oh, yeah, we've got player of the year Thiago in there. A little bit of flashback Matuidi. Love that. Now, one thing you've got to remember is this was before they started giving out like unlimited 85 times 10 packs at the end of every FIFA cycle. So everything you see in this club, I would have actually put in the graph to get and earn my way to them. Like, look, 95 Vinicius Jr. We've got 95 phone in there. We even got team of the season heart. Oh. Hey, it's David Luiz. We love David Luiz. Look at this Renato Sanchez card. Oh, and Hulk. We got the Hulk in there. <laughs> the sweat march and Jonathan Biabiani. Now, I said we're jumping in a time machine and heading back to FIFA 12. The way we're going to do this is actually going to go back into my channel and go and search up some of my teams from back then. This was my favourite FIFA ever, guys, by the way. Like, it doesn't even come close. Every other FIFA pales in comparison compared to this game for me. I must have played about six or 7,000 games on it. You're right, guys. It's Capcom Tom here. We've got a gold Ronaldo, a gold Messi. We've got, like, a 91 Alonso. We've got a Cohen Trow in there. Like, the difference between today's teams and what we got back then 
then is absolutely crazy. People are rocking the equivalent of this in the first 20 minutes of Ultimate Team getting released nowadays. However, something that they're not rocking are the Silver Teams. The Silver Teams back on FIFA 12 could actually batter Gold Teams left, right and centre. It was mental. And my team was special. He was special. We've got my favourite card of any FIFA ever, Silver Milan El Sharawi. Five star skills, he was just incredible. Alongside Marlos, the Brazilian, it was lights out for my opponents. Recognise this guy with the curly bob at left centre mid? That's Philip Coutinho. And the OGs will never forget Mike on Liete and Marcio Azevedo. A simpler time, I won't lie. Oh, I need the disc. Oh no. Do I have a disc for this? I found it! The FIFA 21 disc. We can boot this thing up. I've got to update it. Really? <laughs> Here we go, FIFA 21. Let's go have a little look at our team. Oh! Oh, I remember this was the... Yeah, this is when they brought in the 85 times 10 like grind at the end of the year. Look at this squad. Everyone's rocking five-star skills. I completely forgot about this team, but it was mad. Look at this. We've got like five-star, five-star all over the place. Like everyone on the pitch has five-star skills and it worked. It was awesome to play with this squad. So these are the Festival Foot Path to Glory cards that players got upgraded for doing well at the Euros. Hence why the Italians have got five-star, five-star. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Look at the bench. 99 Messi and a 99 end of era Ronaldo at Manchester United. That is epic. Five-star, five-star on that card. Five star, four star on that card. Mate, end of FIFA is just funny, isn't it? And yep, look at me sweating it out with my bronzes. This is a full first owner squad, by the way. Mad. We have a 98 Messi there. Look, there's a 97 Nanny. I don't even remember this card. Five star, five star on him as well. And what is this? A festival of foot? Summer Stars Kimmich card that I absolutely loved. He was ridiculous. 92 is his minimum stat. You're not just team of the year and Bappe chilling in the club. Is the footies, loads of them, or Bamiyang, Ansu Fati, etc. This is only two FIFAs ago, and there's so many cards in here, I don't even remember. Look, there's a flashback nine goal, and couldn't remember him if you ask me. Hey, there's one for Zwayback Foot. Birthday, Podolski. Like a Podolski episode, yeah. Bale's last ever card at Spurs. The worst promo to ever exist, the What If promo. And one of the best cards I've ever played with in my entire life. But freeze for me, no. This guy was an absolute machine at CDM. As we dive into my FIFA 22 squad, I want you guys to leave a comment telling me some of your favourite cards that you've seen today and that you've ever used in any FIFA ever. Let's have a look at this squad and see what it looks like. Bang. Wow. Footies galore. That Furlamendia striker. What is this card? What is that? What, what is, is it? it? What is Wait, that? We've got like 99 Salad, 98 Neymar. Like, honestly, my mind gets baffled sometimes on this game. But look, Future Stars Alvarez with his probably highest rated card he'll ever receive in any FIFA ever. A 98 for a showdown game at the uh, start of this season. If you've enjoyed this video and want to see a video where Prime decides the players I put in my FIFA team, then click right here.